in formatting. Okay, so what I do here, let me just go back to the original way it was. Okay, no, it was years. Okay, just like that. I can probably take out salesperson there just to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, now what we can do, we can actually copy this, just highlight everything. You can press Control Copy, or from the options, you can go to Select Entire Pivot Table, Control Copy, and let's go in here. Let's go to Format, okay, and Control V. So it puts it in there, okay. Now, what we can do in formatting, refreshing a pivot table. So once your data source changes, for example, this is our data source, Control Down to go all the way down. Let's just drag in here. Okay, so for example, your information gets updated by another person or the next day it just gets updated. Let's update this. Let's click on there and press Control D, shortcut to copy down. So whatever is above, okay. So we've copied this. Now, for example, let's put in a high value here. Let's put in one million. Let's put 10 million, okay. So let's go back to our pivot table in here. It hasn't got updated. Now to update a pivot table, you need to refresh. So to refresh, click on your pivot table, go to options, refresh. Or what I like to do, right click and refresh. Here we go in there. Okay. So we have the change that was made there. Okay, so what we can, you always gotta make sure just refresh. So if we go back in here, data source, right click, delete, go back to our pivot table, you're gonna see this is gonna get changed. Go to options and refresh, you see that? So always make sure to refresh when your pivot table gets updated. Now another thing we can do is number formatting. To format these numbers, let's bring up our field list again and go to values. One way is to go in here and go to value field settings. And from in here, choose number format. And from in there, we can number and then put some separator and then put it like that and press OK. So we have the formatting done like that. It looks much better. Now let me press Control Z just to go back. Okay. Another way is to just right click in there, go to number format, and then from in there is a quick way. Always right click. There's a lot of options there. Pivot table designs. Okay. If we're out of here, you can't do anything with pivot table. You always got to make sure to step into the pivot table. So it gives us the pivot table tools tab here. Now under the design option, we have over 80 different styles in here, light, medium to dark. Just depends on what you like. You can just scroll across and you see that you get a live preview, which is awesome. Okay. I like using this here. Now, another thing is under design, you can go under subtotals and you can switch on and off the subtotals. Grand totals, you can switch on and off the grand totals. Let's press off, you can see that, okay? And let's put it back in. 